Hello, I'm Corey with Nomar Tire Changers. A lot of people have asked to do a video with a tire change on a GS rear wheel with a Hidenap K60 Scout, quite similar to the TKC 80s, a fairly stiff tire. So we're going to get that video here for you. We're using our classic tire changer. Um, break the bead and move the back block to yellow spot in the frame. Set the wheel on the blocks. And the bead breaker up. Break the bead. Lots of leverage. Flip the wheel over, repeat with the other side. Arm our wedges, don't scratch the wheel if you were to slip. Now this is such a stiff wide wheel, we need to switch to our positive hands. So I'll switch that up for you. Positive clamps do have the tall spools on them, which is required for the GS wheel since the lip is so thick. Get the wheel down, kick the back positive clamp, kick the side. Set that by hand. Use a ratchet, snug it up. Now you don't have to extremely tighten this wheel, just get it till it's snug. Okay, so we've got the tire mounted secure. These are our spray lube, which is our paste mixed with water. Put a light coating all the way around. Take your mount, D-mount bar. Holding on this side of the bar. Bar at a 45 degree angle. Work it between the tire and the wheel. Once you get it behind the bead, give it a quarter turn that locks it in. Now if I was to bring this bar over right now, this tip will bend and break. You want to make sure you push the tire down on this side. Get it in the drop center as you bring the bar up and over. center post. With it being an open hub style wheel, you have to go all the way through the, into the frame of the tire changer. Lift up the tire a little bit. Do the bar spin. Now then I'll repeat with the other bead. Hold the tire up. Bring the tire up to the, to the bar. And bring it over. Set your center post. Lift the tire again a little bit and get the bar spin. <clears throat> okay, so I got the tire off, so reinstall it. We use our lube. We lube the drops under the wheel lightly, all the way around. Lube the top wheel, left of the wheel between 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, just a light coating. And you bring your tire up the back side of the tire between two and six as you're facing it. Just a light coating, doesn't need a lot. Take the tire, push it down. This is a brand new tire by the way. Take your D-mount bar, put the double end on the wheel like so. Use our yellow thing tool. Hook it on the wheel. Now the GS wheel is a little thick, so it'll be a little snug, but it does go on just fine. From here, step around to this side of the bar, push the bar on my hip, use my hand to steady it, set my center post, drive with my hip, use my hand to steady it, so push around, use my free hand, push the tire to the drop center. Sometimes you will need to reach underneath and pull up a little bit. As you're pushing with the bar, you pull up, you'll see the tire draw in. And it's on. It's a BMW GS wheel with a high-nose scout K60.